So, do fossils take millions of years to form? Most people are wrong about this, including many science teachers and other highly educated people. Are you? The fossils I'm talking about in this video are those produced by the exchange of minerals to make an image of a dead thing. This process might be either permineralization or petrification, but in either case, the result is that the dead thing disintegrates into small molecules, generally to seep away into the ground, while it is replaced by a mineral, stone, image of it that can last indefinitely. Petrification is a bit different, but the same idea applies. It's an unusual process that we don't see occurring today in nature, but we know it happened because there are trillions of fossils in the ground, a lover the earth to observe right now. But how long does fossilization take? An exact answer might be difficult, but an approximate answer is easy. Here's the answer. It takes less time to make an image than it takes for the dead thing to disintegrate. Otherwise, there would be nothing in existence to make an image of. Do you get that? I mean, you can't snap a photo of someone who's already left the room. Duh. So the next question is, how long does it take for the big molecules in dead things to disintegrate into tiny molecules that percolate away? The short answer is, not very long. Longer answer is, the exact rate depends on many factors. First, there is predation, then microbial decay, then temperature, then chemical interactions with water and oxygen, if any, is trapped with the dead thing, and also any other chemicals that might be present. Finally, after everything else has done its worst, there is thermodynamic breakdown of big molecules into smaller ones over time. Thermodynamic breakdown happens no matter what is done to protect it. Being buried suddenly in a mud flow might block predators, microbes, and oxygen, but not the other forms of decay. Decay still happens. Dead things tend to go away pretty fast. Bones last a bit longer, which is why there are many fossils of skeletons, but still not that long. Even bone disintegrates fairly fast. So, fossilization, if it's going to happen, requires that the dead things stay there long enough for the image to be taken. Fossilization simply must happen fairly quickly if it is to happen at all. We actually are totally sure the process goes very fast because we sometimes see stone images of very soft-bodied animals like jellyfish and skin and whale baleen. All of that material is gone very quickly and you can't make a fossil of something that isn't there anymore. So millions of years to make? Nah, 